You know, election is an interesting thing. It has become very much uh, a doctrine, which is clearly taught in Scripture, but it also has become a doctrine that brings a lot of people um, anxiety. A lot of people are scared. A lot of people are worried about it. Because it is clear in Scripture that God has elected people and that those he has elected shall by no means perish. And so y your assurance can be very wrapped up in this question of, am I one of those people? And if I'm not, what, what can be done about it? Uh, uh, apparently nothing. So how do you know, and how do I know that I'm one of the elect, that I'm someone that God has chosen? Well, election is unto faith. So you are elected to believe. And that God is going to cause those he has elected to believe. Election is also in Christ. You are elected into Christ. Election is always in Christ. And so you can take this question and move on to ask these questions. One, well, am I in Christ? Well, how would you know that? Well, the way you would know that is, have you been baptized? This is an objective means of grace. The way that baptism is taught throughout the New Testament is, is about union with Christ, the removal of sin, the removal of what is old, and the placing you into Christ, and the indwelling and the regeneration of the Holy Spirit, that you are in him and he is in you. So this would be the assurance that you are one of the elect. The other is just simple faith. It doesn't, not, not, not the greatest faith, not, not, the, not the best faith that you've ever seen, but faith granted by God. So when someone asks, like, do you believe? Do you have faith? My question is, like, do you believe that God sent his son Christ to take on your sin, to carry it to Calvary, to die for it, to be buried in the ground, and to be raised for your justification? If the answer to that question is yes, you are one of the elect. Election is never spoke of in the New Testament as a doctrine to bring about fear, but only a doctrine to bring about comfort. And he, Paul uh, speaks over and over and over again uh, to the elect, speaking of the entire church, that, the, that they are the called out ones, they are the chosen ones, and this is a doctrine of great comfort to those who are baptized and are hearing the, the gospel, are receiving the Lord's Supper. You are one of the elect. You are chosen by God. This is not meant to make you wonder if you are. It's to tell you that indeed you are. And if he has chosen you, there will be no unchoosing. Mm -hmm.